Alright, folks. <clears throat> first things first, sorry for the uh, the delay in uploads, but uh, if you didn't watch the Rayman episode where right, I explained it, which is pretty much the first one coming back from the hiatus of a couple days, <clears throat> I've been playing a shit ton of GTA Online and Killing Floor 2. Mostly GTA Online. Because Killing Floor 2 is mostly like a dumb fun game that you put on whenever you're bored. <clears throat> Second of all, I looked up what I needed to do, which I was pretty much on the money last time, I just didn't know where to look. And that's, you have to find three other knights to, you know, make that boss fight easier. And third of all, this is goddamn post-commentary, because even though I recorded Rayman right before rec recording this shit, my microphone decided, you know what, I don't want to, I don't know, I'm just not going to have it. <sighs> so basically, <clears throat> what you're going to see in the next four episodes, five episodes, is me running to find these knights. Mostly speedrun strats, even though I die a bunch, so it's not really speedrunning. Right there, I'm spinning the camera around because I was having frame issues, but yeah, here we go. The first night is opposite of this chick, but I'm gonna kill her anyway because they're douchebags. And uh, just keep going, I guess. <clears throat> it really is a shame that uh, my microphone decided to poop out. Right here, I'm still deciding whether or not I actually want to run through the stuff, so at this point, I'm like, no, nah, I'll kill everything, it's fine. So I kill some stuff. And that guy's creeping up on me, so I run back. And uh, as you'll notice here in a second, the broadsword isn't too good against these armored fucks. So I notice I have a staff in my hands because I'm actually trying to use the broadsword. As you can see right there, backstabbing him with some solid magic. But yeah, once you see the damage, as soon as I start or er, stop doing the square dance with this douche. It's definitely not as good. Missing like a fifth of his health when you can get the full fifth from one backstab with the mace. So let's see, I think I charge attack this lady, and then get shot a bunch. Sounds good. Sip it up. And then that thing's alive because if you kill stuff next to those golems, as you remember from Drang Lake, they come alive. But in this area, they're dickheads and they want to kill you. So, I'm pretty sure I dodge a couple of his attacks, attack him a couple times, which does nothing to him. At least the broadsword doesn't. Yeah. Like a tiny, tiny bit. One sixth health, maybe? And now it's speedrun time. Not really speedrun time, but. You know. I just try and do my best. The first one is easy as hell to get. Right up here you just go backwards with the ice blocking and you're pretty much there. You gotta go through a couple hallways but it's no big deal. And bam, there's the door. But this guy wants some so he's gonna get some. This really sucks having to post commentary because I have like another hour and ten minutes of just talking to myself, which I usually do, but at least I'm playing a game, so it's a little bit better. And I decided to go get this fad loot. Are you ready? Best loot in the game. Uh son, flame butterflies. Never die again, ever. And here's the first dude. They're all behind doors like these, just being sad. There he is, being sad. It's like, oh, what? I dead. And he just fucks off. That's one down out of three. Yeah. And here's a shortcut, I think. Maybe. 
Yeah. That's where the tiger was. And I try and go for the next night from this point on, but it's just a lot easier to start from the abandoned dwelling bonfire. There's another bonfire closer to another night, but I didn't get it. Spoiler alert. So I was just trying to get this done so we can go do the boss and, uh, you know, be done with this LP finally. It's been a long time doing this. Like 120 episodes or something. So yeah. <sighs> Not much else to say, just <clears throat> really sucks this microphone crapped out. I've actually been thinking of buying a new one. Check. I think I will. I don't know. I spent a lot of money on games. But, uh, that's what I do. Spend money on games. Just basically going through right now and killing stuff, as you can plainly see. Ugh. I'm just sitting here talking nonsense, because I have nothing to contribute. This really sucks. And I switched the ring out for the magic ring, because I don't think there's any ice resistance ring. So I'm guessing the type of magic they do in this area is a uh, is soul magic maybe that's all I can figure just chopping this dude up yep Riveting stuff. Come across a couple chests that I open, and some that I don't. But yeah. I don't know what to say. This, this sucks. Those guys with the daggers suck too. Just don't let him backstab you. That's all I can really say. Let's see, where am I going now? <clears throat> Basically just lost right now. Oh no, this is the correct way, but I still get lost doing some BS. I'm getting stabbed. But yeah. That's that's that. See that thing way in the back? If I'll turn the camera around. Nope, to the right. Don't go in that door. Alright. Well I wanted to show it off, but if you could see there's like an abbey back there. That's where one of them is. But that'll be the last one we get. Because it takes me a while to get there. Going through a couple... Black Phantoms and... Such. And here's a pretty shitty area filled with demon porcupines. They're like the, um... The skeletal rolling things in Dark Souls 1, but I don't know if the skeletal rolling things actually hurt you when you got near them without having to actually attack them at all. Because just being near these guys does quite a bit of damage to you. Pretty sure I'm about to get burnt. Mm, soon. Soon. It's coming. And that's not a door, but that's something you open later. Don't worry about it for now. Yeah, see, that guy didn't attack me at all, but just being near him did quite a bit of damage, and that's called Stunlock. Deaded.
and now it's time to start the run from a closer location, aka right there, the abandoned dwelling, like I said earlier. Only an hour and five minutes left to go. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck. But I get pretty good at speedrunning this part, if that uh, gives you any idea on how many times this gets retried. Go in the fake door. Nope, nothing there. Let's go to the real door. And on the right, there's a door right there. That's an easier way to get to one of the knights, but I don't unlock that until a little ways down the road. So for now, we take the outer ramps over to this area, and right in front, there's a staircase downwards, but I just fuck around for a bit. Also, if you can see that guy back there with the sword, that means they're not invisible anymore, so... I go down there later and grab the, the goodies at the other end too. But first I get lost, like, oh, let's go this way. Oh, wait a minute, it's a dead end. Let's not go this way. Dodging things all day and getting trapped. So now we go over here, which I pretty, oh no, haven't been over here yet. So I guess show it off a bit. I think there's a chest and then, uh, some stuff to kill, yeah. And this guy you don't even really have to try and sneak up on because he doesn't give a damn, he just stands there and gets wrecked. And there's a chest, and it's got some stuff in it. What kind of stuff do you ask? Well, this stuff. The Frost Lightning Spear, I guess you could say. And I try and jump this, but, uh, don't press the button good enough, so there we go. And dogs. Which aren't too bad, but four of them are definitely quite bad. Actually five, counting the one that just died. So now it's time to get dead, I'm pretty sure. Dead. Wait. Nope. Clutched it out. Very good. And there's another shortcut back out here. And there's the first bonfire, or the area with the first bonfire right over there. And this commentary sucks. So all I can do is say like, hey, there's that, and this is where I do this, and that, and stuff. Fucking microphone. Garbage ass. And now for a bit I try to find where to go and grab some goodies. <clears throat> Still hitting all the chests just in case. Even the metal ones because I'm pretty sure in New Game Plus and above there are some metal chests that hurt and munch your face off. I think I show off the Abbey. See it back there in the top left next to the health bar? Right there. That thing. That's where we're going. That city is pretty damn big, I just noticed. But you don't explore most of it, unfortunately. That'd be pretty cool. And that's where you're supposed to go, right down here. If you don't have the other bonfire unlocked, which I didn't. And... Instead of falling down here, if you kept going in that door that was on the opposite side of which I fell. That unlocks the door that is um, where I said the shortcut was before. So that's good, right? Yeah, that's great. Yeah. This is pretty solid. Right now I'm just running around doing bullshit. Shouldn't be going in there, but I do anyway. Sip it up. And then get trapped, but not really. 
And those, uh, those mage people that don't have staves have, like, this tiny little dagger that sucks. And here's where I think, oh yeah, I made it to the thing. Oh, wait a minute, there's a big-ass gap in the bridge. So I ain't going this way. Gotta go the most roundabout way ever to get there. But, uh, it gets done eventually. <clears throat> Which is good. Ah, <sighs> yep, there's the Abbey, there's the stuff, and you gotta go down, and yep. Just post commentary greatness. So lame. <laughs>